It was a big win last week for the Warren Easton football team, defeating rival McDonough 35. But for several coaches, that celebration didn't last long. When they returned to the Mid-City campus, many realized they were the victim of a break-in spree. At this Mid-City campus, it's just crazy and it's getting out of hand. Warren Easton head football coach Jerry Phillips walks us through what happened after a big win on the field. We played a great game, so everybody was excited. And as soon as you get back, you see the glass on the ground, and then, you know, everybody panic and go check. And it was like, no, they didn't get me, they didn't get me. Then I get to my truck, and I'm like, well, I was one of them that they got. This is video of the suspects breaking into Phillips' truck Thursday afternoon. It didn't take long, about 20 seconds total to break the window and then rummage through his vehicle. It just took all the, the, the win out of your cell after a hard-fought win that we had at the game. And car break-ins continue to plague parts of New Orleans, in neighborhoods, after Saints games, and during big tourism weekends. It definitely has to get addressed. Police tell us this entire break-in situation in Mid-City is under investigation. And Coach Phillips says, as a lifelong New Orleanian, something needs to change. You understand at some point people are in survival mode, but this is not the way to attack it, man. Breaking in people's cars and people work hard for their stuff. A win on the field for this football staff, ruined by a loss on the streets near this campus. And Coach Phillips tells us that it cost him about 200 bucks to get that window replaced. A gigantic inconvenience, as he says, he had nothing of value in his truck for the thieves to steal.